Hi, this is Cindy with Flick Photographer. I just wanted to go over how you can set up an insert image plugin for your Gmail account. This way you can utilize your Gmail header uh, via the uh, freebie um, October Photoshop action that I'm giving away at the Flick Photographer Facebook page. Let's get started. Um, first, what you want to do is you want to sign in into your Gmail account as you would every day. Um, once you do that, um, what we want to do is go, this is my Gmail account. Um, it's empty at the moment, I've cleared that out. But what we want to do is go over to the right top uh, hand corner and you see where I'm circling my mouse? There's that little wheel. We want to go ahead and click on the arrow. Drop down menu will become available. Go down and select settings. You want to select settings. Okay, that's going to bring us to a new box. Now, there's several titles right up here on the top. You have general, labels, inbox, accounts and imports, filters, IMAP chat, web clips, labs, etc. We want labs, which is the third to last. So go ahead and select labs. Okay, these are all the different plugins that you can activate for your G, well, activate, enable for your Gmail account. Um, mine are at the top. So as an FYI, um, you're looking for the one that is called Inserting Images. This is it right here. Um, it's by Kent T. Mine is already available at the top and enabled because I've already set it up. But for you being new to it, it's going to be disabled. So you want to go ahead and click on Enable so that you can activate it. Yours may not be at the top like mine is, only because mine has already been used, um, excuse me, activated. You want to scroll down and look for it just in the event that it's not at the top. And when you do find it like mine, it's going to say Inserting Images by Canty. So go ahead and click on Enable. Now once you've done that, scroll down all the way to the bottom and, and select Save Changes. Because again, mine has already been done. I can't click on save changes personally, but you can. So be sure to save changes because if you don't, it will not. So let's pretend that we did. Okay, we went ahead and we clicked on inserting images. We enabled it, which means activate. Scroll down to the bottom and we clicked save changes. There we have it. It's going to go ahead and take you back to your... Um, um, inbox. If it doesn't, then just click on compose an, uh, an email, okay, because that's pretty much what we're going to do next. Um, so now we've already done the enable plugin of the insert image. Where is it, do you ask? Okay, well here it is. This is the icon for the plugin that we just activated. It's called inserting images. It also looks like two little mountains or two little peaks. I'm hovering over it. As you can see, it reads insert image. So we're going to head and click on it, okay, to see what happens. Ah, a new box opens up and it says add an image. Well, this is what's going to happen, okay, when you go ahead to start your new email, you're going to go ahead and click on that icon that has the two little mountains or two peaks, okay. It's going to bring you to this new box that says add an image. You want to go ahead and find your header that you've already designed, say for the web, as a JPEG. I saved mine on the desktop for the tutorial. You can do that at any point. So let's go ahead and find our header. I'm on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and select my header and hit open or apply. Okay, now it's thinking. There it is. It uploaded my Gmail stationary header. Now we're going to select OK. There you have it. That's what it's going to look like just about. Okay, now we're going to test it out and see how it looks when I send it. So for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to send it to myself. And I'm going to write testing, PS action, Gmail header. Okay. Now, when I click back inside my Gmail box, you want to go ahead and hit enter or return twice so that you can, can, you can begin to type your content. And again, for the tutorial, I'm just going to, you know, quickly write something. Okay, that's it. 
So let's say that, you know, this is the um, information that you wanted to write, the content. We have our header. Um, just as an FYI, before I do hit send, okay, um, some people don't know this, but the icon for inserting your image header is completely separate from attach a file. You can still attach a file if you click here, just like you would any other time. So these two are completely separate. You can still do both. And the other thing is, in order for you to have this header um, each time, you'll have to insert the header each time. So make sure you keep it somewhere where you can access your header quickly. Or you can go in and, um, and enable your canned responses and build a pre-made response and save it so that when you want to send out an email, it's already set up and it has your header. That's a whole other tutorial that I'm not going to go over now, but that, that's another way you can go about it. So for today and in the future, um, if you don't understand this, yes, you have to click on insert image each time you want to include your header, okay, and personalize it. So let's pretend we're done and hit send. So there we go, it's sending, and there it went. So now my email says I have one email account, um, excuse me, one email waiting for me. So it says testing PS action Gmail header, which is what I wrote in the subject matter. Okay, there's my header and there's my email content. So there you have it, simple, easy, and free. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying the new action that I'm giving away for the October freebie. If you already uh, are a fan, you can still click on the freebie and get the new freebie. Uh, thank you so much. I'm creating new Photoshop actions for making photographers' life easier. As you can see, I'm a wildlife photographer and I enjoy saving time. So I hope you enjoyed these. Thank you so much.